Today we're ranking the top 10 most anticipated games coming to the Xbox Series X. For this list, we'll be looking at the games you need to have on your wish list if you're planning on picking up the console. Ten, Everwild. Revealed back at XO19 in November, this fascinating title comes to us from the legendary developer Rare. While their previous game, Sea of Thieves, didn't make a good first impression, it did earn a strong following of fans as more content updates were included. While not much is known about Everwild, it does hint that like Sea of Thieves, it will sport co-op play given that multiple people are travelling in a group. And that's to say nothing of the vibrant landscapes on display here. Number 9. Bright Memory Infinite The most impressive thing about this game? It was made by a single guy out of China. Zhang Xiong Chang, otherwise known as FYQD, managed to develop this game in his spare time, and apologies if I said your name wrong, while taking full advantage of NVIDIA's RTX ray tracing technology to bring the incredible visuals to life. The game was previously available through Steam Early Access, and was met with very impressive reception despite its short length. How will this solo passion project fare when it goes to a full release? We'll have to wait and see. Number 8. Scorn Originally revealed all the way back in 2014, the game has gone through development hell over recent years. It was originally planned to be a two-part episodic title before recently changing course to focus on a single release. This first-person action horror game seeks to make use of an H.R. Geiger-like art style to create a haunting and visceral world that would seem right at home in Ridley Scott's Alien universe. Hopefully, with more powerful hardware at their disposal, developer Ebb Software will be able to get the game out the way they want it to be. Number 7. Chorus Next up is a clear example as to why you should never substitute a V for a U, because it clearly looks like a V in the title. I kept on calling it Chorus until I started looking it up on the official website. Now, confusing name aside, Chorus does seem to be a promising title for those who are eager for some epic space combat. Now we live in an age of unprecedented peace. The game stars Nara who is tasked with taking down a space cult known as the Circle, whom she was originally a part of. Promising to take full advantage of the Xbox Series X's power, including targeting 120 frames per second, this should satisfy our barrel rolling cravings. Your Number 6, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. Their gameplay trailer didn't actually show any gameplay. The graphics looked cool running an engine, but it was still disappointing, Ubisoft. That being said, the game still shows great promise. Set in 9th century England during the age of the Vikings, the game looks to utilize what made previous Assassin's Creed titles great deep characters, visceral combat, naval battles, and the return of the Hidden Blade. The game will also reportedly be shorter than the previous game, though considering some people felt that game was too drawn out, this might actually be a good thing. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. Number 5. The Medium
developer Bloober Team is certainly no stranger to psychological horror, having previously created The Observer and The Blair Witch Game. Their newest title seems to follow up on their company's MO. Focusing around the psychic medium Marianne, the game looks to constantly shift between the physical and spiritual world, as she looks to prevent a coming catastrophe she has foreseen. It's an interesting concept, sure, but the icing on the cake is that the game will feature music from Akira Yamaoka, the composer of the Silent Hill series. That alone will make for a chilling experience. Number 4. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 From one psychological horror game to another, fans of the genre certainly won't be lacking in variety. The original title, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, was self-published by developer Ninja Theory, who developed a terrifying yet intriguing Norse world centered around a protagonist suffering with psychosis. Now with Microsoft backing the studio, the sequel looks to up the ante of what horrors await in Senua's world, both internally and externally. <laughs> Number 3. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 the long-awaited follow-up to the 2004 cult classic, Bloodlines 2 looks poised to introduce new players to the morbid Vampire Masquerade world, while giving fans of the original plenty to look forward to. This action RPG looks to immerse players with satisfying supernatural powers, such as the ability to prowl over rooftops and engage in satisfying hand-to-hand -hand combat, while also balancing out the slower sections by having you charm and influence your way up the vampiric hierarchy. The more we see of this game, the more it looks like it will be worth the 16-year wait. Number 2, Cyberpunk 2077. Let's be real here. Even if this game is released before the Series X comes out, it is THE game everyone is going to be playing. The hype surrounding the highly anticipated action RPG from The Witcher developer CG Project Red is basically bursting at the seams. And with the Xbox Series X's smart delivery, even those players who buy the game on Xbox One will be able to experience this at its full potential on the Series X at no extra cost. This should give anyone a great reason to be excited about the game, regardless on if they get it on day one or if they wait until the next gen consoles arrive. Before we get to our most anticipated game, here are a few honorable mentions. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yakuza Like a Dragon. Scarlet Nexus. Halo Infinite. This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNSC. Yeah, it was kind of obvious. I mean, the Xbox brand is synonymous with Halo. One could not have existed without the other. True, we're still hesitant about the news of development issues from earlier in the year, but that news seems to have calmed down over the last few months. There's still a lot we don't know about the game, but it is poised to be the Series X's premier launch title. 
We'll know more in July, but for now, we're eager to get back into the fight. <laughs>